So how was the Kodak? Did I tell you about him? Now, do you believe uh, me when I tell you that's him? Yeah, but a big part of your argument was like, oh, he's not on drugs. No. And then right after that, he's, he, he does an interview. He says he did 100 perks a day for a while. No, when I'm, no. he wasn't f***ed up. He's Kodak up. was is always, well, at that time, was always feeling good. Mm. But when he's like... As long as he can have a conversation with you, and you know you got to listen to him because he'll go into this mumble whisper shit on your ass. Mm. He's making sense. It's when he says some shit that has nothing to do with what you talking about, nephew up. There was a moment where he took my phone, looked at my questions, and basically said, don't ask that one, that one, and that one. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> You see what I'm saying? It was like probably the most challenging interview I've ever tried what to do. Was it, it was at three in the morning. One of them was about just a music video that he had out that got deleted. He took it down. And I wanted to know why. You made it pretty clear. Don't ask about that. You didn't even ask him in the parking lot so you can talk about it later. No, that's, know how to play no that's not how we do interviews. We just ask the question on here. But there was a bunch of people featured on the record, some of which he may not f with anymore. He probably didn't want to get into the nitty gritty of why he doesn't fuck people totally understandable but as an interviewer kind of weird for the person to take your phone and tell you right, anyway i'm gonna double back i'll find another Little yak Bootsy, we need that dismissal paperwork bro we got the paperwork when you was telling on the security guard we ain't going for the state of california says uh you can have a, a illegal gun that don't work with us wait a minute we need the dismissal paperwork you're saying that boosie snitched on somebody that's a fact a security we guard. got to work and now all of a sudden the case disappears, right? So at the end of the day, listen, fuck all that, right? In what he situation? Quit, he just called, what's this dude, Rollo or something, a rat? Rollo. Right? Rollo. He called smart. Rollo a rat? Hey, he's the smartest rat I've heard. Rollo. Because he said, I'm not doing it. I'm walking with God. I'm not stupid to your level, right? He is not about to amplify his situation. It looks like this was a year ago. Boosie and Rollo go off on each other over snitch allegations in Rollo's case. I don't know. Something must have just happened, bro. And we're you are talking right. about it. So what I'm saying, but listen. Let's fight. Hey, look, bro. I don't give a fuck. It's, it's a couple things that when you ask for them, you got to provide them. Mm -hmm. A bail receipt and dismissal paperwork. I'm not saying anything recent about this. but well, Yeah, they were just talking about it. A bail receipt and dismissal paperwork. Okay. Bro, you have to post that dismissal work. Mm. That's it. You know, you can't be called, you call T.I. out on this shit, Rollo out on this shit. We got to work where you told the police both guns belong to security guard. And security guard is saying only one gun is mine and I'm licensed for it. They put both guns on the security guard. He going to jail, lose his license. Right? He checked one gun on the plane to come to California. You had the rat dude from the little San Diego Crip dude using his phone to identify a boost he had a gun. This is why when they pulled him over, they snatched him out. When they took him to the station, they telling him, hey. You're talking about the guy who was on IG Live who yeah, captured Boosie with a gun I on I exposed him on Clubhouse. But you're saying that guy was an informant? He's an informant. Not only was he an informant. And that phone was working like a wiretap. I pulled up his work where he got 15 people indicted from his city. And he wrote the judge a letter begging not to go to court with these individuals. We pulled him on Clubhouse over there and, and exposed him. Uh -huh. Right? So my thing is, Boosie is telling the, the, the police, they telling them, be quiet, let us Miranda you, right? Uh -huh. Be quiet, let us show you something first. No, both of them the security gun. Only one of them security gun. Okay. You put a, you put an unauthorized pistol on illegal security. That's just like me having a motherfucking gun. He going to jail, he going to lose his license. Then they show him the video. This is why we know this gun was on you. It said in the work. Now all of a sudden, the case di disappears. Bro, respectfully, I don't give a fuck. All y'all out there, look, be a Boosie fan. All that. But when niggas is talking this gangster shit and playing these gangster games by these gangster rules, you, bro, this is what it is. Has Boosie responded yet we need, to I mean, this? We need to see the dismissal work. Bro, I put mine up. Boom, you ask me a question, I put my shit up. No Just so problem. you know, if Boosie makes the call... You'll never do another Vlad interview again.
like that. I'm not worried about that. Vlad, don't nobody call shots on Vlad and Boosie like this. This is what's real, though. Vlad is going to stand behind what's real. Bro, anybody from the streets on Paru that if somebody say, hey, bro, how you get out? I bailed out. Will your bail receipt? Mm-hmm. If you ride it to get out, you ain't going to have that. I beat the case. Will your dismissal? Will your work? You shouldn't feel no kind of way, bro. Mm. I'm not, listen, man, fuck all that. This was real. You know what I'm saying? He need to show that, bro. We need to see that, bro. Put that shit up like you put up everything else, and we all put up everything else. You show the fish. You show the, uh, uh, your building you doing at your crib. I salute you on that. Beautiful spread. You know, you show this, you show that. Show the dismissal work. Yeah, I don't know. No comment. But wow. No you, comment. You telling me that Boosie told? That's like telling me that Santa Claus ain't real. Hey, look, what a motherfucker accept at 25 don't mean he gonna accept it at 45. Mm. So you're saying that his standards may have loosened up a bit. Gun cases just don't disappear. Mm. Nigga, what a dismissal. My, the little homie Bozzy, he get it dropped in the, st- in the county, in the state. Mm. Feds pick it up, send the homie to the feds for a year. Uh-huh. Nigga, what's the difference with you?